This is Mike from Devil Driver and Verona on Venus. Beautiful, Mike. Thanks for joining us today. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. My pleasure. So you recently announced your new band, Verona on Venus, with your debut single, Rodent, coming out on December 1st. So firstly, tell us a bit more about the project. This is something I've been wanting to do for a while. And when I was in high school, I really grew up on more of... I kind of transitioned from heavy metal more into like industrial and goth. And um, Verona on Venus is the result. This is uh, something that's kind of taking me back to my roots and uh, just gives me an outlet for um, that genre of music that I can't really do with Devil Driver. Mm. Uh, you had a mysterious campaign leading up to the single made, like dropping teasers on social media before the official drop like you obviously put a bit of planning into that like did it work the way you wanted it to yeah so far it's been good i think uh, little people some people have been a little bit shocked <laughs> by some of the content i put up there um you know it's quite different than anything that i've done in the past at this point hey, tell us a bit more about the actual song the road mate tell us about it musically and what you've done for with it it was one of the first songs I wrote for the album. It was also by far the hardest one to write lyrics for. I must have written, I rewrote that song a bunch of times. And the reason I released that one first, I had a bunch of people listen to that record uh, beforehand. And it wasn't overwhelmingly the favorite song, but it was definitely one of the favorite songs from some of the people that I let listen to the record. You know, I, very few people have heard the record at this point. I've only let about 10 people hear it. Um, but the few people that have released it seem to really like that song. It's always been one of my favorites. Um, it opens up the record. And uh, that was, you know, one of the reasons why I decided to release it first. Yep. So oh. It comes with an epic music video largely set in a desert with flashbacks to a tortured soul with a crown of thorns on his head. And there's an assortment of characters coming and going as it progresses, mate. But what's actually happening there? It's cool, but it's it's a fair bit going on. Well, you, you kind of need to watch the teasers that I put out on um, social media. And they're also up on YouTube. And they're just labeled Verona on Venus Part 1 and Part 2. And it kind of follows the story about, you know, I'm, I'm carrying around this dead body with me throughout the desert. And the dead body is a character that I created for the teasers that waterboards me. Okay. And the song is more or less about, you know, mental torture. And um, a lot of the inspiration for that video, um, I, you know, it ties into the album cover. I wanted to bring the album cover alive for the video. Right. And um, I just, a lot of this came about, it was just me and um, girlfriend sitting in bed. Uh, we happened to be watching The Cell one day. Yeah. And that definitely kind of helped some ideas pop into our head. And I wanted it to tell a story. So, you know, obviously you have to watch the teasers to get the full story, but you got you know the uh the character from the teasers in there and as you noticed the i have this odd character without a face coming up to me and handing me a shovel and then handing me a gun and then handing me a bullet and you know at the end of the video it kind of speaks for itself where um it's playing a character that is basically putting himself or um how should I put this? He's <laughs> stopping the torture through suicide, but it's more of a dream rather than reality. Uh, you, you, you and your missus must have some pretty weird bedside conversations, mate, if that film clip came out of that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just getting started, man. It's going to get weirder. Uh, I got another I got another video coming out soon, and it's... Uh, it's it's quite a bit different, but uh, yeah, I would say equally as weird and wonderful. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> now, of course, most people know you as lead guitarist from Devil Driver, mate, but with Verona on Venus, you assume vocal duties. Like, 
Is that something you've always wanted to do or did you sort of, did it come by default? Not something I really wanted to do, but I'll be do, doing Verona on Venus for the rest of my life, one way or another. And I didn't want to rely on having a vocalist that could possibly leave the band in the future. And then I would be forced to replace them either with somebody else or myself. And to <laughs> protect myself from that, I basically had a conversation with myself and was like, I'm going to have to do it. So I, I've always been under the impression that I think anybody can sing for better or worse, as long as you can find the pitch you just need to figure out how to use your voice properly. And I did do a little bit of singing in college because I was a music major. So I kind of started to get my feet wet in the whole thing many, many years ago. I mean, that was 20 years ago at this point. But, um, you know, I didn't know what I was going to go for. I didn't really know what I was going to sound like. But uh just sat in my studio and I figured it out until I got it. And... I'm really happy I got it because it was kind of a brutal process. And now that I've got the direction that I want to go in, the next Verona on Venus record is going to be a lot easier for me. Imagine. Now, just, just to clarify, you made like people are going to be up in arms screaming about Devil Driver. Like you haven't actually left them, have you? This is just another project that you're working on. Yeah, no, I'm still in Devil Driver. I have no plans on leaving. Um, we're already working on, uh, we're in the writing process for a new record right now. Very cool. So you've also announced Rona on Venus's debut album, Popular Delusions, which will be out on January the 19th, mate. So is Rodan a good sonic representation of what to expect? Yes and no. Uh, there are some other songs on the record that would fit the style of Rodan, but I didn't really know what direction I was going to go for when I started this record. So I would say the, the whole industrial aspect of the record, it's not really prominent in the song Rodin. But there as the album progresses, it starts to become a little bit more gothy and a little bit more electronic and has a the uh the industrial aspect of the record grows as you listen to it. And I think I've kind of figured out that that's the direction I want to go in the future. I mean anything can happen. It's there's always going to be a heavy metal influence with Verona on Venus, but there, I think over time, I've finally decided that um, I've always wanted to be an industrial band. I always pictured myself being an industrial band ever since I was 15 years old. And it's just one of those things where it's just like, you know, I had to have a conversation with myself, like, this is always what you wanted to do. So just go do it. <laughs> like, if you want to be industrial, go be industrial. Like, and, you know, I've been in Devil Driver for 20 years almost. And, you know, I've just, I, I guess, I suppose I kind of put myself in this groove metal bubble for the last 20 years. And now it's time for me to do what I always pictured myself doing. Hey, good on you, bro. So is there like, is there a central theme or, or a concept to the album? Or is it just a collection of individual songs? It's just a collection of individual songs. It's definitely not a concept record. Yeah. The, the, the press release calls it a crossover album featuring nine songs. Uh, can you elaborate what they mean by crossover? It goes back to what I was saying earlier about it progressing from, you know, one uh, uh, more of a metal rock record into more of an industrial record toward the end. And so it seems like to me a little bit genreless. Um, because I mix things up. Like I said, it, it was a little bit of an experiment for me. And I didn't really know which direction I was going to go. I just sat down and started writing songs. And I wasn't really, I tried to get myself out of the the, the frame of mind of like, I'm going to go for a specific genre on this record. I didn't know if I wanted it to be rock. I didn't know if I wanted it to be industrial, metal. Um, uh, so I just wrote like I usually do. You know, I, uh, I've always had a bunch of stuff that I've written over the years that is not a good fit for Devil Driver. And I just started opening up old projects that I was had worked on. One of the songs on the record is actually something that I wrote in 2010. 
Oh, wow. So it's, it's been around a long time, just sitting on my computer, completely forgot about it. And I just started going through some old files and just like, I forgot about this. I'm use this song. <laughs> and that happened a couple of times for the record. And it, it keeps on happening. I've got so many songs on my computer that are either just a couple of anything from like a project with two riffs in it to full songs and everything in between because... I'll start working on something. I'll get bored of it. Probably because I've been working on it too hard. And I'll put it away, start something new, and then it's just out of sight, out of mind. So, um, or it's just something where in the long run, I'm like, eh, this is just not going to work for Devil Driver. So I'm just going to put this away. And I don't throw anything away. I keep it all. You know, with computers these days, you can, can you? It takes up that much space. <laughs> yeah. Luckily, hard, hard drive space is cheap these days. <laughs> now, you've also recorded a new take on Acid Bass 1994 song, The Bones of Baby Dolls. Like, how, how different is that to the original? There's a lot of parts in the original that I did not use. Um, I definitely added my own flavor to it. I would say it starts off very reminiscent of the original, and then it grows into something else as you listen to it. So I would say the beginning is more like the original and then the end, you know, still obviously the bones of baby dolls by acid. Bass. I didn't change it up that much, but I left out a lot of stuff that they had in there and I added a lot of my own. All right, Michael, thanks very much for your time today. The debut album popular delusions is out on January the 19th. I believe you've got another single coming out on the 15th of this month. People can keep an eye out for yeah, I got another song coming out on the 15th. A video will be out on the 15th or shortly after. And the record will be out January 19th. Beautiful, mate. Well, I look forward to hearing it. You've got me intrigued after that. And I can't wait to see some more of your videos, mate. They're very well done. Thanks for having me. No worries, brother. Enjoy the rest of your day.